Okay, so dream cave complete. And there are hairs everywhere. And let's see. So I don't think we want to do the main quest yet, because we still have some things that we want to do in Skellige here, or on Art Skellige, I should say. And I thought there were some things still in southern Ard Skellig. Was it this? Or is that? No, that's way northeast. But I think northeast is next on our list once we are done with southern Ard Skellig here. But I thought there was still one more thing. So, And these are the other things we'll do after we're done with Ard Skellig is try to rescue Croc's children, I think. That is also northeast. That is also northeast, because it looks like these two are basically in the same place. Then we'll save the fist fighting for now. Southern Ard Skellig. It was probably this. Level 26. We're level 23. That's certainly doable. Might be a little bit challenging. But where exactly is it? You say southern. It's actually further north than we currently are, and certainly further east. So, why don't we walk our way back to Karamur, then from there, we'll fast travel to Firesdal, from there we'll walk eastward, or maybe even to Palisade, and walk, I think Firesdal, walk eastward, check out these many question marks on our way over to this spot here. I think that's the plan. Chances that I remember that that is the plan, probably pretty low. Let's see if anything else comes up in the meantime. There are monsters here. They might just be wolves that have taken... No? That's a bandit of some variety. So I saw that... Excuse me? You took, like, no damage and also just did not care that we just incinerated you? Alright. Fine. Have it your way, then. If you insist. Oh, there is technically still an enemy here. I know you're going for the, the dramatic move there, Geralt, but at least, apparently, there's a red dot, like, directly on top of us. I, I mean, I don't see it, but okay. Hole for Christmas. Sorry, buddy. I suppose we can still pick up the other stuff as well. Don't remember how much room we have still in our inventory right now, but... Could be okay in that regard. Yeah, I saw this, the rabbit, and thought that that was going to be an indication of these just being wolves. This over here as well. Probably also a rabbit, although I couldn't actually find the loot from the other one. Maybe it's already gone away? Not entirely sure. There's a lot of those, and not sure we've been all the way on the coastline like this. Definitely a wolf pack. Um, I mean, they are, I assume, white wolves. They're a little bit better than the usual wolves. And their fur is actually worth a fair bit. So, uh, with this many of them, I don't think it's a terrible idea to fight them, especially if we can Igni a bunch simultaneously. I just went slow on the dodge that time. I just ate it. Hold on, hold on. I want to keep as many as possible, but also let's not die doing this. Which, uh, I suppose, if we get too clever, we would actually start to be at risk of doing it because we are actually taking a lot of damage. Please go away. Like now. Yeah, uh, that was sloppy, to say the least. And again, we didn't technically need to do this, of course. But the white wolf, white wolf hide, I think, at least in some sort of quantity, is fairly valuable, and yes, we did get a lot of it. So I think that is not bad, at least. Certainly better than the usual wolves that we would encounter in, say, Velen and Novigrad area. But yeah, I'm curious if there is anything else around here, because I don't think we've really done much to explore it. Is that the area we're looking for? Is it that high up? Uh, I mean, that might be this, and I don't think we've checked that out yet. Might be affiliated with some other kind of quest. Uh, that's a troll of some variety. Let's see. 
don't run into trolls very often. Rabid rock troll. Okay. Um, I think we can just fight you. I'm not sure if you are tied to any sort of quest. I would think the generic name like that, probably not, but couldn't say for certain. Try to aid you to reduce your armor, because you are certainly very good from an armor standpoint at mitigating the amount of damage we are healing. Imagine that, the rock troll throws rocks. Who would have guessed? Not so fast, buddy old pal. We're just gonna chop down this tree while we're at it as well. Down you go. And I'm thinking the loot should be very good because those are some crafting materials that are not easy to find. And in fact, may even be worth checking if we can do anything alchemy-wise right now. Alchemy substances are just gonna be the mutagens. Decoctions, we can create one. What is that one? It is a troll decoction. And it was that troll mutagen that we needed. What does this do? Regenerate vitality during and outside of combat. That could definitely be useful. Yeah, a defensive decoction. Usually we've been focusing on the offensive ones, but that may just be because we haven't really had any defensive ones that we've liked thus far. Okay, this might be, yeah, the little rubble we were seeing on the map before. The question is, is there anything here? And some decent dust, at least. Runestone. The dust is, of course, the least refined kind of those types of metals and jewels, so not amazing, but it's something. Huh. It does seem as though there was someone else hanging out here. Yeah, but if you, you loot all of that, that does start to add up quite a bit, and yeah, there is more. So what, did this person starve? I mean, they had a dumpling. That's all you need in life, right? Find yourself a good old dumpling, plop down next to a comfortable rock, lean up against it, and you're good to go, right? Apparently not for this guy, though. So that was one little area we wanted to check out these runes here. I mean, there's technically a little bit more, more or less directly in front of us. And if that means there's more such loot, then that wouldn't be a bad thing. That sounded like an Intriga. Based on how we saw the Rock Troll before, I would not be surprised if we found that there are more enemies that are on the more difficult side. This might not be just your standard Intriga. This could be a dangerous one. or multiple of them. Looks like drones, in which case, pretty significant poison potential. Level 20 drones at that. Uh, oh, I thought, thought that that, uh, that bush was an Indriga's shell, and that this was a humongous Indriga that we were just chilling next to. Like, that's probably not good. Okay, there is another one coming over here. Love we could get rid of one of them first. Not seemingly going to be the case. Well, did we finish that one off? No, not quite. Can we igni you again? Almost. Now you're gonna do something, or at least it seems like you're charging something up. You're gonna use a poison. Yeah. And that hurts a lot. At least can hurt a lot. And the other one burns to death. You have the spikes. But also, you are going to burn some power attacks in there. Try to mix those in a little bit more. Monster saliva, that's not terribly special, but the red mutagens, that is big. I think we are still, in many ways, looking for more of those, because they are still tough to get. I don't think we saw any loot by that little wall there. I thought there was still another little piece of rubble on the map, just which direction is it in? Well, further to the west. Okay. Oh, I suppose we don't need to go to Karamir. We could go to Holmstein's port instead. I think is more so. I actually didn't mean to drop that marker, but that's roughly the direction we're looking to go in. But yeah, I think we have not really been along the coastline like this, like I said, so it might actually be better to go this way. Yeah, we have been up there a bit more. 
really this area that is the question mark. Anything out here? I heard another... Whoa! There's a big insectoid! You are not just an Indriga drone. What level are you? 26. Okay. Um, I was gonna say that... Whoa! Maybe this would be a good time to, uh... Say, ow. Drop a save. Just in case this guy proves to be challenging, because I, I do suspect that is likely to be the case. Uh, no, Geralt, you're gonna want that sword out. I do still want to fight it, I suppose. Well, there's my wish, granted. How dare you? You just took out a, a rat. Or not a rat, a, a hare. Okay, sneak up behind you. Do the big hit. Do that. We have a point We do not have point on. I thought we did. Oh, no, we still did. We still did. I still did. See? It. Thank goodness we did, though. I have to imagine that hurts a lot. Like, a whole lot. And we do know something about the Armored Arrakis. Let's take a quick look. I mean, I would suspect that it said something like it is heavily armored, so uh, good luck. But maybe we can get a little bit more useful information than that. It could be worth throwing on an oil or something like that as well. You are going to be, yes, an insectoid. You are an armored Arrakase. So, Golden Oriole, that is to mitigate the poison damage that we've not yet seen, but is likely to come at some point in time. Their normal attack might, in fact, inflict poison. Insectoid oil, probably could have guessed that. So, let's do that. At least throw on the oil. Assuming that we can find it. There it is, okay. So, that's not bad. And then if we throw on... Well, I think we still have a lot of toxicity, do we not? From, uh... Oh, hello! <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> From our other... Ooh, still don't have the Quen back. Now we do, and we're <laughs> so close to losing it immediately. There it goes. Here it comes! Uh, that still... Did, uh, did we still lose that damage? We might have. We are definitely dealing more damage now that we have used the oil. Okay, there's a crit as well, which should help. But I'm trying to... Ooh, fine, I mean, this is... The scary thing about this enemy is seemingly more so than any enemy we have faced before, it seems. Is that it is very aggressively going after us. Like, very little damage. We can actually deal a fair bit of damage to it when we do get the chance to... Hang in there, but between its jumps and all that, and just chasing after us, very little time to sneak in the cleanse, but it does go down. Loom mutagen, monster heart, and chitinous shell. Unfortunately, don't think anything terribly rare from that, or at least not anything that would be specific to that type of Arrakis. Gonna loot the, the hair that you took out, but... Uh, not immediately seeing it, so maybe we just move on. If nothing else, though, a cool enemy to fight for sure. And further indication that there are certainly more unusual enemies for us to run into around here. This is the other little wall. Are there any little chests hiding in and around it? Not you. You don't count. You're an herb. You're a plant. I don't think so. I think it was mostly just that big one, the bigger area that had a pretty significant amount of decent loot. Okay, so here's a little pathway over to the right, but is there anything in this little corner over here somewhere? That's just an herb. Like, if we check down here... And we're starting to get close to the city. Ah, I knew it! I knew there'd be something hiding over here. And that is an epic rarity sword. Oh, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Or relic rarity, I should say. Great chance... 
and chance to freeze. I do like the crit chance, for sure. It's a little bit better than our existing sword. But what else? It has a little bit higher base damage, in fact. We would miss out on some Ard Sign Intensity, some chance to cause bleeding, and some bonus experience. But it might actually be a little bit better. It also has a little bit more durability. I mean, we probably do want to hold on to our sword and look to upgrade it once we do get the chance to do so. But at least short term, it seems like it might be a half-decent swap. And it also looks cool with that curved blade. So bonus points for that. Style is all that really matters, right? Anything else like that around here? Not sure. Also, I'm not sure we can climb that steep of an incline. Doesn't seem like it. So maybe we go around the old-fashioned way, or at least up here. And now we'll get onto the path. Okay, but I think, yeah, certainly worth taking a short detour for that. At least had a strong suspicion that we might find something special over there. So now that we are basically in town, let's find the fast travel location and find the stairs. And then we will get ourselves closer to the actual place where we want to be. But also see if we could sell anything here, because we did load up on a little bit Friends of so hard. Uh, weak so weapons hard. and things of that sort from the bandits. And so, are you okay? All right, carry on. Um, yeah, it'd be... How much inventory space do we have right now? Oh, we are pretty close to full. Yeah, it would be nice if we could just get rid of a little bit of it. And I'm not going to lie, for a second there, I was about to loot that. You're looking to buy something. Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. Okay, so let's trade. Come on, let's do some trading. Geralt is very excited about this trading. And we picked up some big Nilfgaardian armors. And by big, I mean like 10 weight big. Because I remember we had one of these previously. It does have good stats, but that is largely because it is heavy armor. So I think we still... Well, we'd like to sell it to a specialist if we can. That's, a, that's one downside to that. So ideally what we would do here is we would sell things like... I think we have some extra saddles. Those are pretty heavy. This is actually better than our existing saddle. Okay. We should equip that then. We, I think, may have bought that a while ago and I just forgot about it. So, uh, oops. But then the other thing is that we made a point of getting some white wolf, white wolf hides recently. Let's sell all of those and maybe our other leathers as well. And it gives us a little bit of breathing room for inventory space, not a ton. But it does help to get rid of the bear hide as well. Once you start adding all that up, might make a bit of a difference. Let's see. Now we have 15 to spare. Okay. Anything else we can sell to you? I mean, we could sell random alcoholic beverages and things like that. That's not going to change the amount of weight that we have in our inventory. But uh, will still give us some more coins, which is, of course, not a bad thing. can also probably sell the mushrooms. I think we picked up almost all of those in that dream cave. So, uh, you know, is that trying to suggest that we were eating specific type of mushrooms in there? I mean, they, were, they said they were some weird herbs, right? So we already know that something weird was happening. Uh... For the fish, I mean, we we have enough of these. Oh, I was going to say low-level healing items, but these are technically a little bit better. So I suppose we probably should still hang on to those. And okay, fine. We'll keep them around. The grapes, however, the grapes have got to go. Those are not special. Neither is the apple. So turns out fruits, not a viable diet. At least not here. Bread and grains... Not that either. Dumplings, though, those are indispensable. Can't get rid of those. Cannot get rid of those. We have a ton of cow's milk. I mean, sure. Guess we'll sell that. And olives. Sure. We just have enough quantity of those things that collectively, it does add up a little bit. The raspberry juice. 
can get rid of that too. Okay. That makes this page a little less crowded as well. I think that's just about it. I mean, we could sell some crafting items as well if we really just want to sell as many things as possible here. But these also do not have weight, so these also are not terribly important for us to offload at the moment. It's mostly just that this guy has a fair amount of coins, so maybe it is worthwhile to take advantage of that and uh, dump some things that we could dump anywhere else, but because you have the coins to do it, why not do it now? We'll get rid of some of the common monster items like teeth, harps, you know, basically just insert organ name here, and we probably have around 12 of them. Something like that. The Indriga armor plates, though, I think are a little bit rarer, and the chitinous shells, those are a little bit tougher to get. Even if technically those are magic items, whereas the Monster brains are relic items, and so are the saliva. I guess we can get rid of some of the saliva. But yeah, that is a little strange, that the items that are seemingly easier to get, or at least are the types of things that can drop from almost any enemy, are the ones that are listed as higher rarity, whereas the ones that are coming from specific enemies and that are actually more valuable here, you see 13 coins versus 5, are lower rarity. These are magic, so yeah, that is odd. Yeah, all the Relic Rarity ones are worth five coins apiece. So, I think we might leave it at that. Or, I mean, we can still go even further and sell herbs that we have a bazillion of, like you. We won't get rid of all of them, because we might want them at some point, of course. But I, I think we have enough that it's pretty safe to get rid of some of these guys, because they also quite literally do grow everywhere. Maybe some things like Algul Claws, those are a little bit tougher to get, but Foglets... Foglets are pretty easy to encounter, and these are worth a fair bit. But I don't recall as to whether there are any specific crafting recipes that involve those specifically. And, uh, Lamia Hair, we're getting these from the Sirens, and now that has become pretty common. Not sure if we made anything with it yet, so... Again, don't sell everything. Browner Tongue, oh, we... Certainly could sell a bunch of these because we run into drowners all the time. Drowner Brain, similar store here. Okay, now you're starting to go broke. And that means that now we probably opt to, uh, to end this unless this is an upgraded saddle. No, it's the same. Same as the one we have. Okay, that's fine. Let us remember to actually swap our own saddle around. So long. We mostly gained coins there. We did give ourselves a little bit more inventory space, but before I forget, let's make sure that we do, was it this saddle here? Yeah, for stamina. And then we could turn around and sell this to the trader, but we've now made him broke. That actually would have weight, so that one would have been perhaps a little bit better of a thing to sell. But so be it. Okay, where is the actual fast travel location here though? It is down there, right in the middle of town. Imagine that. We probably ran right past it. But then again, we were deliberately making a point of going to the merchant. It is this right here. Okay. So now I think we were saying we go Fire's Doll and then check out these question marks here on our way over the sad tale of the Grossbart brothers. Let's do that. And I suppose there's a chance we could sell things at Fire's Doll as well. So I do think Fire's Doll does have a specialist that we might feel more comfortable selling weapons to. At least I thought that was the case, but I could be wrong. Also, I think that we were only in here at night. And so this immediately looks different because, uh, yeah, I, uh, I don't really recognize anything here where, oh, you have a specific name, Carly? Oh, you're the person for one of the contracts. I do remember we were supposed to speak to someone's wife or something like that. Perhaps I should start charging for the dragon. Perhaps. I wouldn't pay you, though. See enough corpses in my line of work. 
I'm a witcher. Here because I took the contract for that dragon of yours. Oh, for forgive me. I, I didn't know. <laughs> How can I help? Ready to badmouth us when we're the ones that are trying to help you? Uh, okay. I mean, we could, of course, do this now. And in fact, I think we have perhaps even no option but to do this right now. We won't go after the dragon, but sure, we'll just do a little bit more research in preparation for when we ultimately do. So the bodies, where were they found? We actually did see the dragon flying around before we made it to the village. Where were the bodies found? In the glade past the river. The lads, they liked that place since they were tykes. They'd go there Ooh. to catch hares. Okay. So then let's... Can we examine their wounds? Might not be easy for you, but I have to look at their injuries. At least you asked me permission, not like the others. If it'll help you kill the beast, fine. Do as you will. That's everything for now. Thanks for your help. And I promise to avenge them. This is an Avengers level threat. Confirmed. But yeah, that is, that is actually pretty gruesome. Claw marks, bite marks, but no fire damage. Interesting. That is strange. This is not a fire-breathing dragon. Well, I suppose, have we ever fought a fire-breathing dragon? I'm not sure we have. All the fork tails, draconids, wyverns. Basilisk shot a poisonous projectile at us. That might be the closest thing that it is. Some form of projectile. But no fire breath. At least not on the Witcher 3. Or Witcher 2, technically, maybe we did. No, we, we certainly did. But uh, that, that's a different story. That's a different game. That's a totally different game. That doesn't count. Okay, so I, I guess that was it. Just, just check them out quickly. Identify that there were no signs of fire wounds. Okay, so this is a normal shopkeeper. Um. Well, my really thought I saw the sign of like a, a blood effect there, like a gore effect. I was a little taken aback that from pole vaulting like that, that would cause that kind of damage. Made me kind of concerned. Have we checked out that whatever shipwreck place that is out there? Looks like it's not too far away. Is it all the way out there? I don't know. I am intrigued. We just quickly hop on this boat and see what the deal is. Uh, which side? This side. I'm curious. Forward! Oh, that was, that was very forward. Um, hmm. Come on! Oh, uh, okay. Uh, suddenly it is dark and dreary and misty and everything looks grim. And we wish we weren't here anymore. I miss my family, and all that. Basically, what I'm wondering is, this thing right here, what is it? Do we know about it? Is it this? It might be that, in which case it's, uh, it is farther away than it first appeared. There's no question mark over it, though it does really look like something notable. I mean, it's obviously a shipwreck. Uh, I'm guessing this is going to be hidden treasure, and that thing is going to be the thing guarding it. Question is, how strong are you? And we should probably save, just in case. Because you are probably going to get mad at us, like, right now. Uh, no, you're just a normal siren. Uh, <laughs> Geralt's like, uh, I've had enough for today. Thank you very much. Uh, excuse me. Please leave us alone. That is rude. We're just trying to have a relaxing ride in our boat here, and here you are pecking at us to no end. All right, that's it. Enough of that. Get back here. Get back here. I've had it with you. Um, maybe, sort of, kind of. I don't think you're technically supposed to fight while you're physically in your boat. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Uh, are you are you still swimming? You are moving. So I, I think so. And you may have just gotten out of the water. I think you did. Yep, there you are. There we go. Down you go. Um. Sure. Why not? 
Uh, there. Oh, nope. Uh, Geralt. Other, other, other side. This side. And there are definitely more of them over there. A lot more of them at that. When one of them is coming straight for us right now, or at least appears to be, they may just spawn infinitely. Is there? A, this is absolutely going to damage our boat. Yeah. <laughs> And it actually, oh, it does show uh, an effect on the boat there. Okay, are you... Something is right next to us right now. Is it one of you that was swimming? Because I would prefer to fight you while we are on this boat. Even if we're on a not quite 90 degree, but very cheap angle. It's still better than fighting directly in our boat, I would think. Can we, can we loot that? Oh, okay. This is what I think we're looking for here. Do I technically need to dive underwater to get this? Might. Please allow me to loot that. And there is definitely more directly in the boat as well. Glowing ore is not bad at all. Uh, can we still loot you, Siren, directly? Not sure we can. There is definitely more in the boat. There also may be stuff that is on the boat that doesn't require any diving. That would be the straightforward stuff to get. This is also a little disorienting. So, uh, let's maybe ugh, minimize the amount of time in which we need to be uh, having our world tilted to the side like this. Also, I'm not sure if that's technically the way we were supposed to drop down here, but we've done it now. We are perhaps safe from the sirens here. There's still more for us to get. Monster's Eye, okay, sure. I feel like we want to pop up for air. Because, well, it didn't look like there was necessarily going to be room for us to do that. In all of these locations, we might have found ourselves stuck in a bit of a corner somewhere. But, I don't know if there's anything else in here. I'm not seeing anything light up. Let's duck down just for a second. See if there's anything deeper down, or just something that, for whatever reason, was not lighting up. I don't think I'm seeing anything. We might have gotten it all. Let's, uh, can we go up this thing that may have at one point in time been a ladder, but now is more like a wall? Yeah, this is getting really disorienting very quickly. How do we get up? How do we get out of this area? Were we technically supposed to dive down in order to get in? Go underneath the boat, kind of, sort of? That's technically our only way out now? That might be the case. Or, hold on, hold on. There's this. Daryl, can you pop up? Nope. No, we can't. Hold on. Hold on. Trying to get air. Okay. There's like a little area over here. This might have been where we technically fell through. I think it was, but uh, I don't think we are technically supposed to go back through that because this is getting... Yeah. A little odd. Let's try to do that. Can we... Like, how do we, how do we get back, though? Like, how do we get back is the thing. Is like, I'd rather not be stuck inside a sunken boat for the rest of our lives. This is, I mean, this looks like it could be it right there, except Geralt insists on diving every time we get over to what is seeming, seemingly maybe the mast. Can we, can we climb the mast? No, we can dive under the mast, but that is it. And like I said, this is kind of a staircase, but I don't think it can take us anywhere now. Looks like this might open up a bit. No? No, it doesn't? How do we get out of here? <laughs> actually, are we actually stuck? Um, we did save before we went over here. I mean, it looks like we can poke our head through here. Come on, come on, Geralt. Uh, did we phase through the wall? Maybe. Should we phase through the wall? Probably. Will it come down to that? Almost certainly. Almost certainly. And we just... Come on! Come on, Geralt! Come on! Surface here! Surface here! Surface... Right here! No! Right... Right here! Right... Right here? I don't think you actually... Restored your breath there. Make sure you get the chance to do that. But, uh... That? I mean, we're... Technically, we're walking for a second there. Yeah, this... This just feels like... This is, you know, a test of... Video game design here. Where, uh... You are... Doing a stress test for all the collisions to see, like, can people go through walls? Are they supposed to go through walls? Probably not. 
Are there little holes that people are supposed to go through? If so, can they actually consistently make it through those? Maybe, maybe not. Like, there you see, our head is poking through this wall right now. Are we permanently stuck right now? We probably are going to be stuck right now. Um, okay, no, we did get out of that. Can we hop up on this and get out? Can we, can we do that? No? Okay, I am getting frustrated at this point because at this point, I mean, I see the area where it looks like we can sneak through. And we got through? We got through. I was about to say, let's just reload an old save because otherwise we might be there for the rest of our lives. But uh, fortunately, we did manage to get out of there. Uh, never again. Never again. Uh, there are certainly still more sirens. Is there anything else on here other than just the rocks? Could we deliberately make a point of fighting those sirens? Is there any reason to do that? Like, can we hop on here and see if there's any additional stuff on the actual rocks themselves? I don't think there is. This would probably be the best place to fight the sirens. Well, this... This actually looks like the same model as the uh, the slave ship from Winter 2 in Blotsam. I remember that uh, that design on the sides. Okay, I do kind of want to see if there's anything else over here. We are, of course, going further and further away from our boat. Yeah, I don't think there's much. Let's jump back in. And we'll make it back over to our boat. And that will, of course, be a, a faster trip in that case. If any of the sirens want to fight us, then this would be the place to do that. So maybe we hang out here for a second. I mean, that is a lot of them. A whole lot of them. You, maybe? You paying attention to us? Maybe? Maybe not? No, one of them's diving underwater. Close by. Probably, yeah, there we go. Oh. Are you actually gonna fight us? Yes, you are. Okay, you are technically the Super Sirens. I actually went for Diggy rather than R this time around. Someone else is interested in us. Hello? Um, please come back. Two of them, actually. Uh, no, I did not want to fall in the water. That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Carol, this is a bad time for you to decide that you don't want to jump back onto that body of land. It's kind of important for you to do that right now. And if you could, like, you could actually jump. I suppose we can still swing our sword here. I'm not sure if we can easily while well underwater, kind of, sort of. Carol, Carol, you, you gotta meet me halfway here. You gotta meet me halfway here. Sure, dive underwater into the landmass, the solid landmass. Okay, let's take an alternative approach. And attempt to shoot the bulls here and maybe resurface for a second get our breath back then ow shoot them again maybe kind of sorta if Geralt would load his crossbow and take them out I mean, there are a bunch of them it's like one of them is gonna get us at this point and I can't seem to hit any of them even though they're all yep right on top of us that surface for a second maybe try going around from a different angle? Yeah, there's one right behind us. Um, maybe try going around this way, and maybe now Geralt will be willing to get on land. There we go. The answer to all of our problems. Turns out, water and witchers don't mix. That is pretty cool, the way you come out of the water like that, though. Not gonna lie. Okay, we should just go to Art. We should use Art, not take me. Okay, are you still gonna fight us, or are you just running away now? How does, how does this work? Seems as though you're just running away now. So maybe we've tested fate enough for one day. And we ought to just make our way back. Come on, this way, Geralt. Let's just make our way back to the boat and forget this ever happened. Because I think that is the best answer to this situation right now. And of course, we did almost turn our boat into a shipwreck. 
But that's fine. It'll, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. You know, it's, was it our boat to begin with? No. Is it one of those, you break it, you buy it type of scenarios? Maybe. Okay, you're gonna... You're gonna also need to remind me, what is the reverse button? Okay, that's how we put it in reverse. One second, please. Oh, uh, this might need to be a 12-point turn, given how we're in a sort of a, a tight corner here. No, I think we can make this happen. Oh, uh, what is that? What is that light over there? Hold on. Well, that's actually the place where we are technically supposed to be going. Or no, that's actually... This is the place where we would be... Uh, where we got the boat from. This is where we were saying we we're gonna walk to. We've not yet walked this path, so there could be things on the way there. It's a relatively small area for us to walk. I do kind of want to do that, though, because that way, if there is anything interesting, we can make sure that we check it out. Would probably be a little bit slower, yes, but in the interest of being a little bit more thorough, let's do it. Look at that. That time he docks perfectly. It's almost like he wanted to crash into the rock earlier. Okay. So we'll head over in this direction. And that is a travel... Oh no, that's a guard. For a second I thought that was going to be a traveling merchant. I was going to say, maybe we haven't talked to you before and you might have new stuff for us? Did I hear something? Thought I might have heard a big intriga, but I think I was making that up. So yeah, we checked out that shipwreck, and I'm glad that that is done now, because yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the diving underwater into small areas that uh, require that you stay underwater to loot. We've uh, not always had the best luck with that stuff. Sometimes the loot has just uh, not worked out, it's been a little bit bugged, we've had to reload, and only then will it actually allow us to take the items. Hmm. What is over here, though? If anything. Some fruit. Yes. Anything on this outcrop here? Doesn't seem like it. Although this does seem to be the mouth of a river. Uh, or just a pathway. Yeah, more like just pathway. Okay. Oh, there's something there. Flying, it seemed. Yeah. Those appear to also be sirens or super sirens. They're a little ways in the distance, and this is a somewhat far away from the water, so... Kind of odd to see them here. But... Sure? What level are they? They are normal sirens. 13. And yes, this is close to... One of the question marks, it is in fact Monster Nest. Okay, so that explains a bit. My guess is this is going to be Monster Nest, Abandoned Site, and one other thing? Maybe also Guarded Treasure? Uh, that's, that's a pretty unusual combination though, right? Guarded Treasure at least. Now, uh, where are you? Please stop getting stuck in the tree. Maybe there's a reason why Sirens are usually out in the open ocean, not down here with all these trees, because it does seem like maybe you're having a little bit of trouble with that. Uh, Carol, yeah, it's not, it's not dead yet. You can finish it off, that'd be great. So we technically do need to destroy the monster nest, like otherwise they will keep coming back. There may be more enemies over there as well. Boomed in, what is that? What is the marker? Okay. So the nest is here. Siren den. Let's destroy it, and this might have more sirens pop up. Uh, please don't stand next to it as it explodes, Geralt. Ah, uh, there's something coming after us. Oh, it's you. Hold on. This is a super siren. And I didn't actually see if it popped up out of the nest, technically speaking. I mean, I didn't see it come up to begin with, so it doesn't seem like that might be likely. Yeah, there are definitely still sirens over here. Loot the ones we've taken out already. We'll take the loot from the nest. And then there are still other things for us to investigate here. So we'll have to check it out. Yeah, one of those is an abandoned site. As we suspected. Okay. 
Okay. There's a question mark here, like, right next to us. It's in there. Can we spy on... Oh, there's a... It's a red chest. So it... I think we'll initiate a quest based on how it's, uh... The question mark here. And not... I mean, if it were for a different... Oh, or a hidden treasure. Well, I bet it's a hidden treasure that starts a quest. Okay. See, Fifth Essence is not bad. Yeah, I don't think it would have shown up on our map at all if it was part of a quest that we've already learned about or would learn about from some other means. Can we say, like, knock you away so that we can get to this other chest that's hiding down here? Because that's kind of hard to get to. I mean, maybe it's just seashells and more alcoholic beverages, in which case, not a huge deal, but in case it is important. I mean, this is the big one. Yes, there is a letter and flowers. Let's read the letter. Y'all, I've got bad news for you. Father's ship sank off the southern coast of Ardskelet. Might that be the, the boat that we were just at? As far as I know, there were no survivors. Only a few bodies were recovered. They were already blue and bloated. I only recognize Jovic by his tattoo. I'll do what I can to prepare the body for the funeral. Brace yourself. It won't be a pretty sight. I know what was on the ship. Everything you had. So if you need to borrow some coin, don't hesitate to write. Your father and I were bound by blood. I'll never refuse to help. Harlan. Hmm. Emily Fortune. Okay. So if it does seem as though this new quest is directing us right where... Oh, except we've already completed it. Yeah, that does mean that maybe that was, in fact, the ship that we've already looted. Because, yeah, the fact that we instantly finished it implies that maybe we've already been there. 